Hey y'all, what's up? What's T? And welcome to Rain So Benji. If you are new to my channel, I ask that you subscribe before you leave. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when your Benji boy posts another video. And if you've been here before, girl, what's up? Y'all, today is Soul Food Sunday. And today I'm bringing the. <laughs> Y'all, I have on my super comfortable PJs because it is a little over 20 degrees in Jacksonville, Florida. I know, right? I can't believe it. And I'm not going to lie, when I be on Instagram and I be supporting other people's vlogs and they be snowing where they at, I be feeling some type of way because i never seen snow before and like I want to be cold too. But anyway, y'all, I am about to get Sunday dinner start. I have the meat thawing out right now. It is almost done. I'm doing some neck bones and some short ribs. And on the side, I'm doing some greens and large llama beans. I forgot to get some freaking cornbread, y'all. So excuse me with the cornbread tip if you decide to do this recipe make sure you get you some cornbread it'll be so good <laughs> this dish is very similar to the oxtails dish you know i do cook a lot of beef on this channel and um a few of you guys always say well ryan i love oxtails but oxtails can get a little pricey and it's a few of us as a family listen i got you i told i tell y'all this all the time when you get your family pike of oxtails, just add you some stew meat. Add you some short ribs to the party. She will add you some beef neck bones. It all has the same flavor. You feel me? Just go ahead and mix it on in. And there you go. So just stretch it. That's all you have to do. So the next time you want to buy some oxtails and you feel like that it can get a little pricey and you can't buy as many as you want, just go ahead and get like a nice medium or large pack and add you some stew meat to it or add you some short ribs. Trust and believe you will not regret it. All right, y'all. Let's go in the kitchen so I can bring you that. <laughs> you guys, I am in the kitchen. I'm about to get ready to crank up this pressure cooker. This is what I'm cooking today. I'm cooking some beef plate short ribs, y'all. So good. I purchased them from IJ Rose. And then I have some beef chuck neck bones. If you never had beef neck bones, you are sleep because they're so meaty. Don't be eating those chicken neck bones. Don't be eating those turkey neck bones. Don't be eating those pork neck bones. Pork neck bones is full of fat. Turkey neck bones ain't got no meat. And beef neck bones is the tea, okay? That's what we're gonna have in our pressure cooker. And I know it's only gonna take about 30 minutes and they're gonna be super tender. So uh, let's get down. All right, y'all know what I'm about to do now. I'm about to clean this meat. So I have some apple cider vinegar and a lemon. And we're gonna just go ahead and do our thing. So go ahead and add your water. Put it in there. I don't really like for the meat to like stick up because I want to make sure that it's taking a good bath. So I'm just add my lemon juice. And I don't throw it away because I like to just use it to, you know, help clean it, like scrub it. I'm going to show y'all what I mean in just a minute. You shake your vinegar up. Add your vinegar to the party. Now I ain't gonna put that much of this vinegar inside it because this this my good vinegar, y'all. You, if you know, you know. This is the good vinegar. You don't just play with this. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just gonna do that a little one, two, one, two for the meat. <laughs> so what I do with the lemon piece, I just scrub the meat. Scrub the meat. I'm gonna go ahead and do every last one of them. All right, so we're just gonna let the neck bone sit and take their good old bath. And I'm gonna cover them up with some saran wrap. And I'm gonna let this sit for about 10 minutes. After the 10 minutes, I will drain the lemon and the apple cider vinegar off and rinse it off myself with fresh water. 
and I will see y'all when it's time to season her up. I am back and I'm coming in with the seasoning. So we're gonna do it like this here. We're gonna come in there with a little bit of accent. We're gonna add some black pepper, Lowry seasoning salt, some Badaya complete seasoning, some Badaya Saison Tropical, and some onion. And y'all gonna make sure y'all season it real good because you need all those flavors to connect. We're going to hit the bottom of the pan with some 100% grapeseed oil. Add them in. So as y'all can see, it's about four of the neck bones that can fit in this pan. I have six on the side. So we're just going to go ahead and brown both sides and I'll show y'all what's next. Alright y'all, so with the residue at the bottom of the pan, that's nothing but seasoning and juices. So what we're going to do, we're going to make some gravy. Now I have a small whole onion right here. I'm going to chop it up and we're going to add it to the party. Add some water and some flour. We're going to make our gravy then add our meat back into the pot. Now, so I still have the pan on saute so you just add your onions add a little more oil and add the water the flour If your gravy is too thick like mine is right here, you just add a little bit more water. Not too much though, because the beef's gonna give off a lot of water. Mix it up. Now add your beef. So now that the beef is in there, y'all, we are now ready for the easy part. Okay, y'all, we are two minutes in and it's time to do my favorite part. Release the pressure. Super tender, look at that. Fall right off. Y'all, it smells so good, and I'm about to try just a pinch of it, and then I'm gonna plate this bad boy, and that will be it for pressure with rain. Meanwhile, I have some turnip greens, some large lima beans in the mix, I don't really need Killing tonight I'm
See how much I